then once you have that soil organic matter, a lot of that is still being respired by the microbial community and going back uh, as carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Um, but in that process where the microbes are taking that organic matter and using it to generate energy and produce CO2, they're also um, breaking down that organic matter and releasing or mineralizing um, a lot of different nutrients, whether it's ammonium or nitrates and these nitrogen minerals or, um, or uh, phosphate. And these can be really important not only for increasing um, uh, availability of nutrients for plants, but also forming some of these byproducts that are going to be more long lasting in soils. Um, we know that soil organic matter provides microbial habitat. So um, if you think of the lush ecosystems that we need in order that um, you might think of for macro vertebrates that um, uh, what would be a really productive system on a microbial level, um, we want to have lots of soil organic matter or lots of resources that these different microbes, uh, whether bacteria or fungi or some of the larger microinvertebrates uh, can, can thrive on because that's really where they get a lot of their energy from is processing this organic matter. Um, and finally, soil organic matter is also uh, linked with things like improving water retention, which can be very important for cropping systems. Um, so we, we can not only achieve these carbon sequestration benefits, but we can also benefit soil fertility as well. Um, and, and thinking about uh, how soils are actually formed and how this is preserved, um, we, we can take a look at some of our emerging understanding of, of how soil organic matter cycles. Um, so for some of those of you who have ever taken a soil science class, you, you're probably familiar with the idea of uh, humus or humic acids. And um, kind of our traditional view of soils is that as um, microbes decompose organic matter, they're, they're breaking it down into these smaller molecules and then they get complex into these big um, humic substances. But um, when scientists use some of the modern technology to explore and look through the soils for these uh, humic substances, we, we, we didn't really find them. Instead, we found a lot of these very smaller um, biopolymers that are out there that are actually retaining in soils for a really, really long time. Um, so we, we have emerging ideas of, of how soil organic matter is formed and is stabilized within soil that allows us to sequester the carbon. So as um, we have uh, organic matter, whether it's grass clippings or leaves or um, animal residues, as that gets broken down by some of the decomposers that are out there, it's going to get into smaller and smaller um, molecules. And um, you'll see here in this uh, diagram, as those molecules break down, they're going to 